Save money with this do-it-yourself tip of the week. Welcome to this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week where we're going to be talking about general maintenance that will save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. For as little as $25 and some common household items like some paper towels, a drain pan, 17 millimeter wrench, and a funnel, you can do your own oil changes at home in your very own garage. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on this VTX 1300 here. Same thing goes with the air filter. The air filter in your motorcycle should be changed every 12,000 miles or so. Average air filter is about 50 bucks. The K&N air filter is a one-time replacement. You're only going to replace it one time and then service it whenever your filter needs to be changed. So for just a couple bucks more, you can put a serviceable filter in and not have to pay that 50, 60, 70 bucks every time you need to change your air filter. Now before I dig into the parts on here on the table and talk about the differences in oils, the differences in filters, let me start getting the oil drained out of this VTX. Now before you begin your oil change, it's always a good idea to remove the dipstick or the filler plugs. So here underneath the VTX, we've got the drain plug and we've got the oil filter. Be careful not to drop your bolt into the oil because that's never a fun experience. I'm going to begin the oil drain process. Now this is where I'd like to remind you that it's always a good idea to replace this washer at every oil change. So I can position the drain pan so I can still reach the oil filter. And then, as you can see, now I've got two streams of oil coming from the bottom of this motorcycle. And there you go. So let's talk about oil filters for a minute. Here I've got three different filters at three different price points. This one here is just over five bucks and it's on the lower end. And this one here is just over $15 on the higher end. But what are the differences? The standard filter is going to require you to use a filter wrench. Whereas this K&N filter, they've gone the distance and they've welded a 17 millimeter nut on the top. So all you've got to do is slip your wrench up under your motorcycle and twist off your filter. What makes this the high end filter? You got black versus chrome. Now that we've covered filters, let's talk a little bit about the oil itself. Oil ranges anywhere from $4 a quart to $12 a quart. You've got standard motor oil as shown here, you've got semi-synthetic, and you've got full synthetic. But what really is the difference? The difference is the grade of refining that the oil has gone through. Standard motor oil has gone through a refinement process to get to a certain point. You go to the fully synthetic motor oils. What does that mean? It means that oil has been refined enough that it's going to coat and smooth out your cylinder walls, giving your motor the most protection that you can possibly have. Keep in mind that most motorcycle manufacturers recommend two things when it comes to oil. Number one, don't use synthetic until after your motorcycle has gone through the proper break-in procedure. Number two, make sure you check any oil that you purchase for the specifications to make sure that this oil is compatible with your manufacturer. And that brings us to one common misconception. Any regular automotive oil can be used in your motorcycle. That is not recommended by any motorcycle manufacturer nor any motorcycle oil manufacturer due to the wet clutch that are found in most of our Japanese cruisers. Looks like the VTX is just about done draining, so while it continues to drip dry, let's take this K&N filter and install it here on this V-Star 1300. Now this is a stock replacement filter. You don't need an aftermarket air kit or air box for this filter. This gets installed in your stock factory air box. And it's going to allow your motorcycle to breathe just a little bit better and not require you to replace your filter every time your bike is tuned up. In this box, you're gonna get a dry K&N filter. Now dry means non-oiled. As you notice the front of this box, the filter's red. Or if you notice any external K&N filter, they usually have red filter material as well. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna provide that initial oiling so that you know that your motorcycle is protected. K&N has provided us this cute little tube that you're just gonna cut the top off of and then oil each of these pleats. But I currently here in the shop have a K&N filter recharge kit, which I'm going to use the oil bottle from because it's much easier and less messy. If I was taking this filter out of the motorcycle after several thousand miles, I would clean it with the cleaner, let it dry, and then re-oil it using the K&N oil. Oiling the filter is extremely simple. And run the bottle across each of the pleats, which is then going to soak in over time and make this entire filter red. Now that we've got each of these pleats covered, you can see that the inside still needs to soak in a little bit. In 20 minutes or so, this entire filter will be saturated with the K&N filtering oil. Now let's get this V-Star ready to accept this K&N filter. Now that we've got all these screws out, we're just gonna remove the cover, and here sits 
Oh my goodness. The nasty, nasty stock air filter. You may ask yourself, why is a K&N filter worth the investment? Not only are you going to save money because you're not going to have to keep replacing these paper filters, the you're... standard paper air filter like you're going to find in just about every stock application is going to flow right around 320 CFM. The equivalent K&N filter is going to flow almost 450 CFM. That is a marked difference. Here is a paper filter installed into this air box. We're now going to turn it on and the fans in the back are going to suck. If enough air can be sucked through this filter, this ping pong ball would rise to the top. So let's go ahead and open this up and replace this paper filter with a K&N filter. As you can see, we still have enough airflow through the K&N in order to give this ball enough suction that it functions as if there's no filter installed at all. That's how restrictive your paper filter is on your motorcycle. Now while we wait for that K&N filter to continue to soak up into those cotton pleats, let's go over and finish up the oil change on the VTX. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and clean the surface that this filter sits against so I can make sure it's nice and clean for the application of the new filter. Make sure that there's a film of oil around the top of the seal so that we get a good I'm going to place the new filter up, hand tighten it, then I'm going to give it a quarter spin with the wrench. Can make sure the area is clean. We've got a new aluminum washer. Put the final torque on there. Now be careful not to tighten that too tight or you might strip out the engine case. So now that I got the VTX all buttoned back up, I can go ahead and fill it with oil. Now, so I've just got finished putting the recommended amount of oil here in the VTX. Gonna drop my dipstick down, pull it out, and we're reading absolutely perfect. All right, it's been about 20 minutes, and as you can see from the inside, the oil that we put on this filter has seeped all the way through. And now we're gonna take this stock replacement k and filter and install it here on this V-Star 1300. Oil filter, oil, and air filter all done in less than an hour in your own garage at home for less than $100. Remember, recycle all of your used oil at the proper recycle locations. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.